1913, there was a Negro pugilist, his name was Jack Johnson. Now, old Jack Johnson, he was a tough walk around, whopping people upside the head, making all sorts of money. Like I say, old Jack Johnson, he was a pugilist, he was a pugilist by preference and by profession. And one day, old Jack came walking on down by the pier side, he's just walking on down, his manager come walking on down by the pier side, he says, uh, hi, Jack, he says, hi, manager, this is what you're doing, he says, I'm just walking on down by the pier side. He says, what's up, he says, I got a gig for you, he says, got a gig for me, he says, that's right, he says, whereabouts, he says, over in England, he says, hmm, what am I going to do over there, he says, well, you're going to open and whop this guy upside the head and make all sorts of money, eh? Old Jack says, that's groovy, baby, that's really groovy, you give me a ticket on the next flight out, he said, ticket on the next flight out, this is 1914, why the Wright brothers haven't even started fooling around with kitty hawk yet, he said, uh, who's she, See the band was playing there, my God, he fed a well Titanic fed well. Old Jack says, well, how am I going to get there, baby? He says, oh, I'm going to show you. And he whips open the newspaper and shows him a picture of the USS Titanic, folks. She's the world's biggest ship. She's made out of good wood and good iron. They said she'd never get down. He says, you mean I'm going over on the boat? And he says, that's right, baby, you're going on the boat. He said, well, let's get, get some tickets. He said, all right, so they head on down to the ticket taker's place. He walks on up to the ticket taker. He walks on in and says, hey, man, I want to buy me some tickets. He said, got red ticket, green ticket, yellow ticket, blue ticket, what kind of ticket you want? I said, I want a red one. He gave him some loot and he laid it on him. Jack, he's got a stick, and now he takes everything he owns, he wraps it on up in a diaper, and he hangs it on a stick over his back and goes heading on down by the pier side. He getting on down by the pier side, and his manager's down there by the pier side, and there she is, folks, the USS Titanic, she's lined up beside 250 parking meters, the captain's getting done ready to split, cause he run out of time. This time there was an Italian senator in the state house, and all Italian senators, them got brothers, owned construction companies, and this one had a brother, he owned a construction company, and the Titanic, she was made out of good Italian wood, good Italian, and they said she'd never get down. So there's old Jack standing on the bottom, got everything he owns wrapped on up in that diaper, hanging on a stick over his back. He shakes hands with his manager, goes walking on up the gangplank, the captain's standing on the top. He get up onto the top and the captain look at the ticket. He look at the ticket, he look at Jack. He look at the ticket, he look at Jack. He look at the ticket, he look at Jack. He look at the ticket, he look at Jack. He look at the ticket, he look at Jack. He, look at the he says, sorry, baby, wrong color. This is me or the ticket, this is you. Wouldn't let Jack Johnson on board. He said this ship don't haul no coal. We'll fade away, well, Titanic fade away. He was midnight on the sea. The band was playing near my God. He fade away, well, Titanic fade away. Well, yeah. So Jack says it's all right, baby. It's all right. I'm gonna sit right here. I'm gonna pay and watch you go right on down. She sails on out into the North Sea. She's out there floating around in and out between the icebergs, and old Jack standing on the pier. I gotta tell you about the people on the Titanic. Now, first of all, there's a whole bunch of Jewish people from Miami. They're jumping up and down, they're laughing, they're drinking booze, they're trading wives and Cadillacs and diamonds, and having all sorts of good clean party fun. Then there was the people who run the boat. Now the people who run the boat, they know all about running boats. They know all about hoisting up land lovers and battening down hatches and doing all sorts of other good things like all good sailors do in their far west sea. Then there was the captain, not a captain. He know how to walk like a captain, write like a captain, walk like a captain, talk like a captain, smell like a captain, eat like a captain, do all sorts of captain things. Then there was the first mate. Now I gotta tell you about the first mate. Now the first mate, he don't know nothing about Jewish parties. He don't know nothing about hoisting up land lovers. He don't know nothing about captains. He, uh, he wants to want to go over to England. He want to play his guitar. He want to run around, chase women, have all sorts of good time. 
Anyways, this fella, his sideburns, they're just a little too long. He'd give away, see? He been down in Mexico, he been down in Mexico, he been working in this rope factory down in Mexico now. Down in Mexico, they make rope out of this funny little hemp plant that grows wild in the ground. Some of you people grow it in flower pots on your bed. He, anyways, down there, and he's, he's waking rope out of this funny marijuana plant. And one day, the rope factory, she catch fire, and he run back on in to save his lunch. He's got two sardine sandwiches. Running back on in to save his lunch, he gets inside, and there's all this funny smoke floating around up inside. And he gets some of this funny smoke up inside his head, and he sit down in the middle of the fire, and he say... No more. See, so take everything he owned, he wrap it up on up in a diaper and a knapsack too, and he, he hanging on down to the Titanic. He get to the Titanic, he standing on the bottom, walking on up the gangplank. The captain standing on the top. The captain says, What you got, boy? He says, I'm coming on. This is what you got. And this is where I got me two changes of BVDs. I got me my guitar, I got me my address book, a pair of socks. Four mass marble comic books, a tennis racket, and 497 and a half feet of rope. He says, 497 and a half feet of rope. What do you got that for? He says, oh, I just carry it. <laughs> So he says, all right, go on board, go on board, and he did. It was midnight on the sea, the band was playing near my god deep. Better well, Titanic, better well. Now they wouldn't let Jack Johnson on board. They said this ship don't haul no coal. Better well, Titanic, better well. That brings us up to what's happening on the Titanic. She's floating around, in and out between the icebergs. The Jewish people are partying. They're trading wives and Cadillacs and diamonds. They're drinking booze and having all sorts of party fun. Everybody else is hoisting up land lovers and battening down hatches. The first mate is hanging over the rail. He's having himself a little smoke. He's digging the iceberg. Having himself a little smoke. And it's the captain's time to do his thing. The captain comes on out. Remember I told you about the captain? He knows how to walk like Captain Riley, like Captain Douglas. All sorts of Captain. He comes on out and he's standing out. His thing right now is that... He's got to go out and test the wind, so he casts his nose up into the north wind, and he goes... <laughs> he walks on over to the first mate. He says, hey, first mate, what's that you smoking? He says, that ain't nothing but a little old cigarette, Captain. He says, I don't believe it. Give me a puff. He says, all right. <laughs> Captain, take himself a little puff. Nothing happened right away. He says, it's all right. It's all right. It's just a cigarette. I'm going for a walk. And that's what it did, folks. He went for a walk. He went, he went out walking around the boat. He went walking toward the wheelhouse. He, he walked around. He walked around the wheelhouse once. May he look on over at the captain and And he say, right. <laughs> so this time he's gonna tell the captain a little bit about the smoke that is smoking. He says, now the idea, captain, the idea is to get the smoke way down deep inside your tummy and hold it there just as long as you can. It'll make your fed feel good all inside. So the captain says, all right. Take himself three big tokes off that funny little brown weed. He says, I'm commencing to hold it in. He 
walked around the wheelhouse. He went downstairs. He laid down. He get up. He ran in the other room. He sent a radiogram. He came home back in. He took a shower. He come out. He shaved. He laid down. He get up again. He turned on the television. He turned off the radio. He played a game of cribbage. He read his mouth.